So, Ruben Sim is back at it again on the Mods for Dummies account, showcasing Roblox's worst assets that are somehow on the platform. And I mean, these are just heinous. These assets should not be on a kid's game. And I mean, dang, I, I keep thinking every single video, it's not gonna get worse, okay? There is a limit, okay? But nope, it, it got worse. And today, we're gonna go over all that. But before we get into any of that, this is a new channel I started less than two weeks ago. And 95% of the people that watch this channel aren't subscribed so make sure you go subscribe down below and join the schlep army today anyways let's go over this video so ruben sim over the last let's say month or two has been uploading these videos where he'll actually go through his process of managing the mod for dummies account now for the people who don't know ruben sim is like an unofficial roblox moderator so if you don't remember he actually got sued by roblox and one of the terms of this was that he could not use the roblox platform anymore so the roblox paralegal started watching his account like Cox to make sure that he was not playing Roblox and you know what he decided to do how about I just upload the worst assets that are available on Roblox and magically every single one of these assets about a few hours later after he posted just disappeared off the site so he has been using his superpower for great by launching an account called mod for dummies and I mean this account is just hilarious it, it literally posts the absolute worst things you can imagine on Roblox somehow being on the platform you guys know those iceberg videos I would say there's a mod for dummies iceberg you know the surface level of it would be like the milk avatars which are just like shaders to make it look like you have parts on your body a robloxian shouldn't have but as we get deeper and deeper into this roblox iceberg it just gets worse and worse like for instance there are literally groups for people to share very explicit illegal videos around that I can't say because this video will be age restricted and demonetized how in the heck is that on Roblox? Yeah, I, I wanted to show a clip from the new Ruben Sim video here. I remember when Roblox was a game where people would just go there to hang out with their friends, and now they're using it as a hub to trade. Not good videos. So yeah, that, that really just puts a baseline onto what we're gonna be experiencing today through this insane Ruben Sim video. So he starts off the video by showing a minion and Danny DeVito doing some very, uh, bro, I can't even say anything that this video includes but we can just say inappropriate activities they were having a good time you know uh why would you upload that on a site that little kids play like half the kids on roblox are under the age of 12 why, why would a child need to see that he also showed an abundance and by abundance i mean every single one of these videos have featured at least one of these of not safe for work furry websites it, it, they literally just display the website url so kids can go onto the website and be exposed to that sort of stuff if you make these shirts i honestly think you are a pre I, I'm just saying it right here right now because you know the type of people who play this game and you are choosing to expose children to that sort of stuff What's crazy though is that when I talked about the Ruben sim video last time the developer of one of the people that Ruben talked about Transfer outbreak joined my discord server. He had one of these websites in his favorites like the whole website URL Showing exactly where to go to in his favorites And he also had a really really weird shirt on that kids can obviously see but he wrote my server something along the lines of why is my shirt in your video and i mean i pretty much summarized it here why are you promoting websites like that when 50 percent of the players are under the age of 13 but is that supposed to be a flex or something you are literally a creep roblox should have banned your account i don't know why roblox didn't ban your account you're promoting these websites to little kids and i really wish roblox would have way more of a firm stance on it i get it they weren't the people uploading it but they are people promoting it they should start banning users for owning these shirts what is absolutely amazing to me is this word i can't read it i can't read it but it starts with this was allowed on roblox one of these shirts were literally called this how in the heck is that allowed on a kid's site i mean i cannot believe that and apparently this emoji is also allowed on roblox i don't know why at all this would be allowed on roblox when is there ever a case for this to be on roblox if anything though i feel like this video shows that roblox really really needs to overhaul their moderation they are listening to someone that they literally sued how have they made him a moderator like i don't get it honestly though it isn't even a bad idea i said this in my last video but i 
honestly think Ruben Sim should be a moderator. He's never really wanted anything bad for Roblox. The thing is, he's pointed out a lot of major issues within the Roblox community. Like for instance with Mr. Obvious and other notorious people like this. And sure, most of his criticism at times is pretty harsh, but it is valid criticism. It is things that Roblox actively needs to change. I've been watching Ruben Sim all the way back to when Roblox Watch was a thing. And the thing is, he wasn't even wrong with any of those videos. They were valid criticisms, and most of those videos were just parodies of Roblox. And I know he's pointed out certain things that your staff members have done, but the thing is, these are valid criticisms. I don't know, honestly. I think if anything, Thing, he's definitely given a lot of help to the Roblox platform, like him or not. He's brought into light people like Mr. Obvious who have literally done horrible, atrocious things and got him banned off of Roblox. It only took him a few years. And he's exposed other monsters on the site as well. That's why I'm just saying, they should make him a moderator. They should go ahead and take advice from him. He's definitely Roblox's biggest critic, but it's not like he hates Roblox. If he hated Roblox, he still wouldn't be making videos on them. And that's after he got sued by then. But listen, Roblox doesn't have to listen to me at all. They could just be like, yeah, no, we're not making a moderator. Sure, fine, so be it, right? But they need to overhaul their moderation. It is so bad, and they're using now AI, apparently, to go ahead and train the moderation bot so people don't even have to do the manual moderation. It 100% should only be manual moderation. It doesn't matter how many employees you have to hire. It's about keeping kids safe. And how you can let certain things pass through these filters is literally beyond me. It is totally beyond me. If I was Roblox, first thing I would do is completely reformat the entire moderation system. Like, bro, wipe out any AIs or anything that you have currently trained to spot certain things. Everything needs to be wiped off of it, and you need to start fresh. Because the current system you have in place doesn't work. It is not functional. You are letting crazy things get through the filter. And the report system on Roblox just doesn't work. Honestly, if anything, it just shows that the whole system needs to be overhauled. But not only that, I think the thing with Roblox as well is that I think it's becoming a Silicon Valley corporate company. Like, just nothing feels like Roblox anymore. Like, I'm so serious when I say that. All all of just the really amazing things about the site have really just disappeared over the last few years and it's really sad bro do you remember the egg hunts those aren't a thing anymore like roblox has gotten rid of those like they don't even fight for the really important things about the site like for instance you guys remember the audio update that happened that removed all of the boom boxes i used to play a game and it completely ruined that game i mean absolutely destroyed that game it ruined one of the coolest things about it and i mean dude the oof sound effect the iconic Roblox noise. They didn't just pay him off. They should have paid that dude off. If that guy said he wanted $10 million, Roblox should have listened to him. That is the most iconic Roblox sound ever. I don't know, I could rant about Roblox as a company now all day, but honestly, the thing is, at the end of the day, I love the game still. I still play it, I still talk about it, I still have a YouTube channel about it. But Roblox definitely needs to step up their game, especially in the moderation department. You have kids. 50% of all players are under the age of 12. The stuff Ruben Sim is pointing out should never even touch the website. I don't know. I could keep ranting about this all day. But guys, what is your opinion on this new Ruben Sim video? It is pretty, pretty crazy. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are down below. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video here. Thank you guys for watching my video. And make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.